Hello and welcome back to Embolden's video tutorial series. In this video we're going to talk about module containers, which is a word you've probably heard me say a lot in these videos, and if I've trained you you've heard me say it, and it's often accompanied by me saying we will talk about this later, or this is a more advanced uh, subject, or this is usually something Embolden does for you. Um, containers are specialized templates for a specific module. So I am in preview mode right now, if you remember the preview mode demo. Um, so even though I'm logged in as an administrator and we're looking at the demo site, you don't see all the pane outlines and all of that here. You don't see all the editing controls because I wanted to see this um, more like how an end user would see it. I've also taken our demo module that we created in the last few videos and moved it over into the left pane over here. So you can see where this just says module one, that is uh, our demo content manager module. And underneath it, the talk with us, this if you've been going through this entire series of videos, uh, is the module we use to demo the add existing module uh, thing where we took it from another page and shared it here. The reason I moved this over is I wanted you to be able to see the fact that these two things display very differently. So module one is using the default container style. So a container is a little template for a module. Um, if this was over here in the main content area, it would look totally normal. It's black text, it's on a transparent background, um, it has some header styles, some other things in it. But we put it over here in the sidebar and it looks a little weird. Underneath that is a module that has, we can see it has a white background, um, it might have some different styled uh, typefaces or some different sizes or colors than you have over here. Uh, in this case, it's mostly the same. It's mainly the white background that's different. Um, so this is using a specialized container. So essentially, this is saying, you know, this talk with us module uh, should have its own special template that's different than how it would look just by default if it were anywhere on the page. Um, so that's what a container is. It's a specialized template for one specific module. If you want to see a list of your containers, you can usually go to Manage Site and then your design standards uh, or, or sample page, depending on how old your site is, should have not only what your different header styles and different, um, different special classes you have available to you, but it will also often tell you, uh, show you examples of your different containers. So over here, we can see this talk to us. Um, and it says right in here, this is the white box container, tells us what container it's using. Underneath that, we have something that says, oh, this is using the sidebar callout container. So if we wanted to make something that looked like this, uh, we would know which container to use. Oftentimes, it will also say in here uh, what recommended image sizes and any other helpful hints as far as using these specific containers. Um, so going back to your design standards page again, it's very helpful. I'm gonna go back to our demo page and we can see how you actually set a container. So I have to get out of preview mode. Preview mode. Um, so we see our two modules over here, module one and talk with us. One thing to note, uh, most of our modules, uh, if you're just using the default container, generally the title of the module does not show. If you're using a specialized container, a custom container we've created for you um, that's a sidebar container, Oftentimes, these are built so that the title actually displays. So this talk with us is not in the content of the module. If we went into edit content, it would just say our donor relations team is here for you. It would not say talk with us. If we wanted to edit this talk with us, we would actually have to go into the module settings and change the module title itself because that's displaying here. It also means you don't want to put anything uh, that's not intended to be end user facing in your module in your module titles if that module is going to be using a specialized container where the title displays. Um, so that being said, the way to display a container is to go into the settings for the module. So you add the module to the page, you go into settings here, and then within the settings menu, as we saw last time when we were talking about moving modules around, there's these sub menus. So you have your main thing that's got your module, module title, tells you what type of module it is, your permissions, all of that. Down here, we want to choose page settings. So you have the advanced settings option and the page settings. Um, so even though we're in the module settings, we want page settings within that. It's not the same as the settings for the page overall that we would get to in the page functions in our control panel. And uh, I know that's very confusing and unfortunately that's just the way it is. Um, so in advanced settings, there's two options that we're concerned with here, two settings. 
One is this checkbox that says display container. This absolutely must be checked. Um, if you are logged in, if this is unchecked and you are logged in as an administrator, you will still see whatever module container was set here. However, when you log out or when somebody else is looking at the page, they're just going to see it using the default regular uh, module container, module template. They will not see it using our, in this case, white box or sidebar callout or whatever. So this needs to be checked. And then also down here where it says module container, this is where we choose which container we're going to use. And again, you can get the name of the container off of your sample page to figure out which one you should use. In general, we name them so that the organization name is first and then dash and then whatever, you know, a sort of descriptive term. Um, so there may be ones that are just built into the system that say things like DNN blue. Uh, those are just, you know, part of the template or whatever. These are not ones you would ever use. This site is a copy of the Kalamazoo Community Foundation's website uh, that we had built for them and we use it as a demo. Um, and so all of the, all of the containers here start with KCF, Kalamazoo Community Foundation, and these are the ones we built specifically for them. And we can see we're currently using the white box. The sidebar callout was another one we saw on the design standards page. And then this green header and bottom border, we would have to go back to the design standards page to kind of look at those and see what they look like. Um, so if, if this were a new module, I would come in, choose KCF white box, which obviously was already selected, choose display container, and then click update. And I would have my container the way I want it. Uh, one thing to note, if you notice, we went into the module settings here. I never create containers or I never uh, put a container on a module when I'm creating the module itself. And the reason is if I'm creating a new module and I choose KCF white box up here and click add, that little display container checkbox in the settings is not automatically checked for me. I still need to go into the settings to check that. It's super easy to forget to do that because as I mentioned, if you're logged in as an administrator, you see the module that you, you see the container that you set. Uh, so you think everything's working fine and then you don't remember that you have to go in and check display container so everybody else can see the container. So I never use this container option. In fact, we've had it removed from some of our newer sites that we've built um, because if you want to set a container, you need to remember to go in through the settings and do two things, both select the container from the dropdown and check that display container checkbox. So that's containers.